Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you for being here today. It is Kalaloo Sunday. So yes, I am working on the famous Kalaloo. If you're Trinidadian, if you're from the West Indies, if you ever knew anybody who lived in the Caribbean, they tell you about Trinidad Kalaloo. Not Jamaican Kalaloo soup, but Trinidad Kalaloo. So yeah, I'm going to show you kind of an easier way to make it because it's COVID, dashing leave, hard to find Korean. Say, hey, they're not bringing them thing. Scarce. So here's what everything coming frozen. Shortcut Kalaloo. You ever hear about that? Yeah, you do have to clean the bush. Because you have no bush to clean. Already come packaged. So, I have a few ingredients I want you to see. I have two bags of frozen spinach. Yes, you could make Kalaloo with frozen spinach. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I have two bags of frozen spinach. You can have some frozen pumpkin. We're not frozen, no crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are my frozen compartments. And then I have a tin of coconut, I have some carrots, some pimento, onions. Yep, I have an onion, garlic, and I even have a secret ingredient some cheese, wheat. I'll show you that. So let me get prepped up. We'll be right back. We're gonna put in, we're gonna put the fire on. And since these things are frozen, we'll put them in first. All the frozen friends so that they can steam down before you start adding the rest of ingredients and this is how I do um, my fruits and Kalaloo don't worry my pot just looks small but it's all gonna work out let that go down a little bit so I have some nice warm water in here and yes. I am the frozen Kalaloo girl I also believe in putting a lot of pumpkin in Kalaloo and okra So you got one bag of each. You got some nice hot water. And you let that steam down before you add all the ingredients that's not frozen. All right, so. And you put that on medium heat so that it works out all the, all the other stuff. So this is my Kalaloo boiling. That means most of, if not all of, the ice has broken down. And this is about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes in. And now is the part where I start adding all of the uh, ingredients that weren't frozen. So I have pimento and a sweet pepper that's left over. Because Kalaloo is one of those foods um, you can add different stuff to. Uh, I have a whole onion, a whole white onion here. Um, I have a couple cloves of garlic and I have a carrot that was going bad so I added there it's like a color element and I also have my coconut milk because all of these things are going to marry together uh, you don't have to get a little pot like me and overcrowd the pot I was doing that because I wanted to save the other pot to make a roux. So, um, yeah, cover that, let it steam down. Um, you can leave it on for about 40 minutes. Um, you come back when it's halfway through and you add some final ingredients for flavor. I normally add cheese, because I love cheese, and it gives it a meaty flavor. So if you're a vegetarian, if you like crab, if you like pigtail, 
you know you add that in the earlier stages um yeah so this is my frozen pot of calamine and yes people you will see what i'm looking like later so let's add some ingredients so see it was a good thing i transferred to this pot maybe that had color all over the stove so guys Start to call a little off in the right pot. Go do like me. We're gonna add some salt. About a tablespoon of salt. If we need more, maybe two tablespoons of salt. This looks like a lot of color. We need some ketchup because of course we don't have what we have in Trinidad, ruku. So normally we use some ruku in here. Gonna clean this up. And, and that would be it. But since we don't have ruku, we gotta go with ketchup. Some fresh pepper. This is my secret ingredient for Kalalu. I know you didn't grow up doing this. I learned this along the way. Long story with cheese in Kalalu. My sister, who never used to cook in her life, was learning to cook from our youth leader and decided she coming home to put cheese in the kalalu and my mother was losing it she was not having it where you get it from cheese and kalalu well let me tell you something cheese and kalalu is a delicacy so yeah if you don't eat meat you just eat cheese you'll get that meaty flavor so now scotch bonnet is not just for garnish Scott bonnet is all about flavors. So let that steam for about five minutes and then we'll come back with the immersion blender. We'll taste and we'll see how that comes out. So this is time that you adjust stuff. You adjust seasoning, you blend up stuff. Doesn't that look just yummy, guys? What? Calaloo's on 100. Okay, so we're resting down this man right here. Side. And now's the time you go in with the immersion blender and you make it happen. Now, we don't want bully poop, so you want to pulse. to have a little more water because I find it a little thick. So, yes, my birds have come to eat. It's feeding time outside. 6.30 is feeding time and fighting time. Yes, sometimes the birds just behave like us. And sometimes we just behave worse than animals. But yes. So guys, this is my kalaloo for you. I'm gonna put that pepper right back in there. So we can sit. And because the iron pot is gonna be hot for a minute. Um, so, prep that up. And the, the green fig pie have a few more minutes inside of the oven. We come back. But this is kalaloo shortcut kalaloo frozen spinach kalaloo yes guys so this is kalaloo and fake pie and it's all done and ready to go mm -hmm. mm. oh my goodness oh my goodness mm. yeah that's on a hundred like i like to see mm -mm -mm. Melt in your mouth business. Alright guys. So that meal takes a little while to prepare. One tip I have for you. You're gonna make callaloo and you're gonna make a bunch of callaloo 
Okay, I bigger pot than me. You get screwed up. Hey, that's life sometimes. Because you don't want your color to spill and move on your stove. I hope you see how to make this quick and easy. I guess you leave it longer on the stove to come together. You can leave it for 40 minutes, an hour. I like to leave mine long so all the flavors marry. Yeah, and I really like, I really like some good color. So while in COVID, Bush had to find, go ahead, try some spinach, churai bhaji. You're not gonna get that in the US. Very, very rare. Somebody might be growing it at past one day and I swear growing. But yeah, so if you like what's going on in my kitchen, you like my flavors, you like my deal, share, subscribe for the next videos, tell a friend, tell our next friend, and I'll see you next time right here in Kiba's Place.